welcome back to my channel guys today i'm at the munali roundabout or oh, munali flyover bridge I was, i'm so used to roundabout yes munali flyover bridge guys i want to go just check around first how it looks like just showcasing how look at the massive billboards look what the flyover bridge Munari road look at another massive billboard what do you say about these billboards guys do you think they are okay or they are too big uh, someone in my comments was saying the billboards are so big they are too big uh, they can even cause obstruction to to drivers massive massive billboards guys now today's task is very simple there was a road some of you guys who don't live in Lusaka there was the popular there's the popular Kamloops road between Munali and Kalingalinga uh, Alikinghata road so in that road uh, this road used to be very small now there is an upgrade so that is where I'm going to take you on uh, an adventure just to drive through Kamloops Road up to Kalingalinga and just show you the new Kalingalinga shopping mall guys so let's go guys so before we jump on the car I just want you to take you around to look at a little bit just a, uh, a little bit about the Munali flower bridge where we'll be starting from and the traffic flow on the weekend yeah so this is Munali road some massive billboards This is the bridge coming from uh, Chelston area and where the, the image is going, this is towards town. Now let's take a ride on the Kamloops Road, the newly upgraded, refurbished Kamloops Road. Ladies and gentlemen, those who left Zambia or those who've never been to Zambia, this road used to be so small, driving was never fun at all. Now it is a dual carriageway. Vehicles, although being a weekend, vehicles moving so fast. So flow of traffic is so smooth, you even enjoy driving. It was never like that. The other remarkable thing is drainages around this area there was a time when it really rains hard it really rains so heavily there would be heavy downpour there would be rains even on the road but now there is a drainage on the left there's a drainage on the right street lights was another thing this place as soon as it was evening cars the smooth uh, Cars could not, uh, as soon as it was evening, rather, the place would really be so dark. Now, when you move in the night, 
is lit. You can even enjoy driving in Lusaka. You can see up to here still dual carriageway. So guys, this is what I I always want to bring to you as usual. If you are new on my channel or if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. I'm on a journey to 10,000 subscribers. Please support my, my journey. Okay, there's also another alternative road which is to turn to your right from these traffic lights called the Nangwenya Road. It's a new road, also dual carriageway, very nice. So, we are now entering a ghetto known as Kalingalinga. And now this is where the dual carriageway finishes. It was hard. In other countries I've seen, they would still expand and break, compensate people by the roadside, but uh, it was not in this case. So here, because it has now entered one of uh, our highly densely populated places known as Kalingalinga. This is where we are entering. I would deliberately take our video. I want you to see a mall, a beautiful mall where we are going to, to park. That is where uh, they have uh, built a new mall inside in a shanty compound. What we call, as we call them shanty. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. And this is where now we have arrived. Then I'll take you just briefly, a minute or two, I show you around the mall. So this is the mall, the beautiful mall, as you can see. This is inside Kalingalinga residential area. So let me just show you around. This is the entrance to the underground parking area if you don't like underground parking area there is still more parking space even outside here as you can see there are also a few cars which are already outside uh, the security around this place whenever they see you filming they really don't like to film i was stopped every time to say no you cannot you can't do that here sir we don't do that so this is uh the more some of the shops which are at this mall showing yes as you can see i'm trying to walk you through i'll take you through that place written hungry lion i just show you a bit inside before i go before i say my goodbyes this security tells me sir you cannot film here <laughs> this is what we go through guys as youtubers there are certain places they will never allow it there he is don't film here, sir. I now take you inside. He told me not to film. I said, thank you, sir. Underground here, this is the exit point. When you park underground, you come through inside. On the right, there is a hungry lion. And I kept filming up to this point. Now, let me show you also another the main passage inside this mall here on the right well guys thank you so much for watching up to this moment as the security comes again to say sir you cannot film here there she is she comes don't film here 